In your phase one trial, I know that you gave participants paracetamol before vaccination. Why is that? And can you elaborate on the side effects from your vaccine? How do you rate the side effects you're seeing relative to other vaccines that many people get routinely? So when we were doing um, vaccine development with our coronavirus vector vaccine, we'd used three different doses in those clinical studies and we saw immune responses to all of them, but with the strongest immune responses at the highest dose, although it was somewhat more reactogenic than, um, than the intermediate dose, which was half the level of the lowest dose. In a pandemic situation, when you're trying to get the best response you can with the single dose, we decided we would go for the highest dose, knowing that in some participants, they might have a very short-lived fever. And that, that's the main difference between the two different dose levels, is that as a small proportion of the participants do have a short-lived fever immediately after vaccination within the first 48 hours. And it's very predictable in terms of the time. And as with any vaccine, um, other adverse events after vaccination, a tenderness or some pain at the injection site, mostly mild in most participants and fatigue as well. And the, the safety profile of the COVID-19 vaccine is very, very similar to all of the other Chalice one vectored vaccines that we've worked on previously and published the data on previously. We're not seeing anything unexpected. But because some of the participants do experience a short-lived low-grade fever, um, we decided we would see if we had any impact on that by giving them paracetamol for the first 24 hours after vaccination, which has been done with some other vaccines um, in, in implementation studies as well. And it seemed that there was a, a slight reduction in the, uh, the use of, sorry, in the, in the number of people experiencing fever uh, if they took paracetamol for the first 24 hours after vaccination, which is not a difficult thing to do. So we, we tested that and we showed the effect of the vaccination with and without paracetamol and the, um, the slight reduction in the reactogenicity if they did take the paracetamol. Mm -hmm. 